Hi everyone, my name's Steve. Uh, you might have seen some of my videos on my YouTube channel. Um, I really enjoy uh, my quadcopters. I've only been into the hobby very recently, so I'm still a bit of a rookie pilot. Uh, started off, my very, very first one was one very similar to this. Uh, I've actually had two of these. Um, the XYC-1 is my favourite one, but I've actually given that to my son now. I uh, had this one just as a bit of a fun flyer um, and now use it as a, a wall ornament plus the fact I also stuck a couple of headlights on the front of it which if you have a look on my YouTube channel you'll see or also on my Instagram channel but what I'm here to talk about today is this my new baby the SEMA SIMA depending on how you say it 8C uh, it's a Phantom clone, um, apparently, uh, only without all the bells and whistles that the Phantom has. Um, it has headless mode, um, it can do tricks, although I really wouldn't fancy um, doing any tricks with it because I've, I'm pretty sure the, the motors wouldn't last very long if you did that. But everybody that I've seen, all the internet people that I've seen, like 101 Quadcopter. Um, which if you haven't checked out and you are into quadcopters, please check this guy out because he is excellent at what he does. He's out in the, I think it's the Mojave Desert, and he tests all the quadcopters, and he did a thorough test on this one. And what we noticed was, and what I noticed was from his video, the amount of jello, that the Americans call it, or jelly, as we would say, that you get with the use of the onboard camera, which is this little baby. Apparently it's supposed to be 2 megapixel HD, which is the same camera that is on the X5C, uh, but it's just encased in this little orange, white or black dome or box, whatever you want to call it, housing, depending on which colour quadcopter you have. Uh, but it is, in effect, exactly the same camera. So, although they've upgraded the quad, they haven't upgraded the camera, which is a bit of a shame. They've also fixed it on this mount here, uh, which is great because you can alter the angle of the camera to wherever you want it you can you know if you want to see the underbelly of your quad you can if you want to almost look straight down you know you, you can't that way you can there you can look at that sort of an angle straight down and it just clips in underneath and me being me thought to myself yes everybody else is complaining about this jello stroke jelly i'm going to call it jelly because we're in the uk not jello like the our, um, our brothers on the other side of the pond call it um, so I decided to go out and give it a go so I went out last night and it was the first time that I'd had to fly because we've had quite high winds um, in the UK over the past couple of weeks um, and I'm going to show you a video that I filmed over our local park and let's just say I was very disappointed but you'll see
see, it wasn't very good. The um, jelly was quite horrific, I thought. And I like to take stills from my videos that I do, just to, just to have as wallpaper on my computer. I just think it's nice. I have it circulating, that changing about every three minutes or so and as I'm working on the computer I get to see the different shots that I've taken and I actually enjoy it, you know, it, it's really good fun. Um, but there's no way that I could ever do that with the shots taken from this. So, I did a little bit of research and I just happened to have this Keychain 808 camera knocking around and everybody was saying either use this or the Mobius. Well, I've got a Mobius on order. I'm still waiting for it to arrive. It should be here within the next week or so. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just using this little Keychain 808. And everybody was going on about the credit card mount, which is a credit card broken half, cut in half, um, threaded with a couple of um, cable ties, and it acts as a damper for the quadcopter. As you can see, it absorbs a lot of the vibration. So I gave it some thoughts and decided that I was going to have a go. So this is what I've done. Uh, this is this is what I intend to take out and fly very shortly. Again, once wind permitting, because the wind has picked up again. Um, all I've done is cut a credit card. This one just happened to be my game reward card. Cut that in half. Put two holes at the bottom of the top, threaded the cable tied through. At the top there I've got a little piece of um, polystyrene or styrofoam. Um, put a little bit of tape around it just to give it a little bit of more strength so that it doesn't the table cable ties don't rip out. And I've put a little bit of gauze, a little bit of wadding. You could use anything, um, I suppose, cotton wool, tissue paper, kitchen roll, anything like that, uh, just to sort of give it that little bit more dampening and then what I've done is to make it nice and easy to take on and off because they're cheap as chips as they say is I've got one elastic band a large elastic band going round the body meeting on the top and then held into place with a couple of really cheap cable ties although again you can make yourself a little hook or if you can get one of those little uh, carabiner clips or anything like that that you could hook on there anything like that uh, oh I've got it here at the moment it's in my box somewhere but even something like you'd get on a key ring uh, where you actually undo it to put your keys on you could thread that on clip it shut and that will hold the what's it free the elastic band tight and then when you're finished if you do want to use this one although i've got to say after looking at the movie i don't know why you would this is easy enough to take off also if you just want to have a fly again easy enough to take off so next video that you're going to see and i really do have no idea how this is going to pan out at the moment because i'm not doing this i don't have the flights i haven't done everything um but the next movie you see will be the movie of this and this with this so i'll sign off at the moment uh, just as my dogs come walking in and see you in a little while Right, now you should be recording. So, here we go with the test of the new gimbal. Let's put a bit of uh, Velcro. All set. It's a bit breezy, but we'll give it a go.
Well, I don't know about you, but I'm impressed. It hasn't completely removed the jelly, but I've, I've got to say, I am impressed. It is a vast, vast improvement. Um, and I would recommend anybody with the 85C, uh, sorry, the X8C, uh, if you can't afford an expensive uh, camera mount with dampers and gimbals and all the well bells and whistles, just get yourself one of these. You know, a Blue Peter DIY. Here's one I made earlier. Uh, little key keychain 808 camera, as I said earlier on. Nice and cheap camera. And literally, I suppose that must have cost me. Well, actually, it didn't cost me anything, to be perfectly honest. I mean, if, if I weigh up the cost of the cable ties, it probably cost me about, well, I don't know, what, two pence, if that. It was an old game card, polystyrene I had lying around, and that piece of gauze is from a dressing pack, from an old dressing pack uh, that I had in my first aid kit, which was out of date, so we pinched that. And the elastic band was one that came uh, wrapped in a parcel from Amazon. So there you go, it literally cost me pennies, if that, and it is brilliant, in my opinion. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you um, actually learn something from it and um, please be nice and leave leave a, a comment I'll try and get back to you uh, also if you'd like to subscribe to the channel keep your eye on it I always try and fly in interesting places and do some interesting videos because I like to watch interesting videos so I like to put interesting videos out there uh, with the music and the editing and so forth and so like that because for me that is one big part of the flying is the making the movies afterwards but on that note I will say thank you very much for watching and fly safely.